And hi everyone, I'm Master Kuteng, and I'm with Tita Linda. Meow! That's right! Ako po ay <laughs> nagtrabaho, I work for the government for 41 years. 41 years. At the Department of Labor and Employment. Mm -hmm. I started as a contractual employee mm. and then I went from one position to another mm. until God placed me at the highest post uh, which is the cabinet secretary post mm. for the Department of Labor, Labor. Employment. Something I never imagined, never wish and even imagined even in my wildest mm. <laughs> dreams. <laughs> our our passion is to train the student now than to repair them tomorrow. Okay. And we are teaching them, we are imparting them the life. L-I-F-E. Okay. So first, yung life po na yan para sa mga estudyante. Because we are believing. Sila yung future. Okay. Sila yung future na generation yes. na magiging yeah. dole secretary, mayors, and okay. mga politician na yeah. as, they as we change the campus. Yeah. We can change the world yeah. and the world of the politics yeah. and the world of of kung ano pa po yung mga system na kailangan baguhin. Yes. So yun tita bilang bilang um, government official na mm -hmm. nag-serve for how many years po? Forty one. Forty one years. years. Then yes. kailan po kayo naging Christian? Uh, nineteen eighty. Nineteen eighty. Wow. So eh, kayo po talaga yung perfect na tao para para sagutin to yung mga tanong nato. <laughs> First, ano pong masasabi nyo about word na leadership as a part of our government here in the Philippines? Okay. As a Christian, uh, isa lang ang kahulugan ng leadership sa akin. Mm. Uh, at yun yung leadership ni Christ, okay, servanthood. Servant. Servanthood. So, naka-spell out dyan sa Matthew 20, 28, Aba, if Matthew. I can read. Sabi doon, even, even as, as the, the son, son of, of man, man came not to be served, serve, ang ganda ng but to serve and to give life as a ransom for many. Wow. So for me, dalawang keyword ang nag-speak sa akin dyan. Ano Pag sinabing leader, ang way to lead is to serve oh. and to give. Serving and giving. Serving and giving. And giving. So God... Jesus Christ came to serve and to give His life for a ransom Tama. for many. Yung giving is walang limit. Kung mm. kailangang ibigay mo yung buhay mo ano doon talaga? sa uh, tao na mm. kailangan mong paglingkuran, ibibigay mo yon. Kasi ang model mo, si Christ. Tama si Christ. Yan. Tapos, doon sa verse na yan, ay merong two previous verses ah, okay. na ipinapaalaala sa leader na katulad ko na sinasabing ang uh, aking model ay si Christ mm. kung papaano nag-aact ah, ah. ang leader, leader that follow Christ. So, si Nabi dyan is you know that the rulers of the Gentiles Lord it over them, mm -hmm. and their great ones exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you, wow. but whoever will be great among you must be your servant. Mm -hmm. So, grabbing ng usap sa akin yan, <laughs> kasi nga, nung, nung nanggaling ako sa iba't ibang position, ng National Conciliation and Mediation Board, ng POEA, iba pa rin nung inalagay ka na doon sa tuktok, parang sinabi sa akin ni God, this time, uh, kung nag-ingat ka sa pagkilos mo mm -hmm. noong uh, inilagay kita doon sa iba't ibang posisyon na bagamat Ma, ikaw din yung leader, this time, mas lalong maingat ka Apa. dahil lahat ng mata ng tao ah. nakatingin sa iyo mm. kasi kumbaga sa ano pick yan sa isang cab executive uh, sa executive department 
of course except the president mm-hmm. ang highest na ay ang cabinet, cabinet secretary, oh, secretary yung ganon so yun kaya ang ang message sa akin ni God is the more you have to listen to me so it was a simple lifestyle ah, na in other words in very short term gawin mong simple ang iyong buhay. Kasi si Katulad Kristo, ng ginawa ni Jesus. Si Kristo, simpleng buhay. Pag isinama mo siya doon sa mga tao Apo. na kanyang tinutulungan, hindi siya ma-identify na siya ay Apo. si Christ. Di ba? And even to the point na nung may event, yung, uh, yung, yung ipagkakanulo na siya, Apo, kailangan may mag-identify kung mm. sino siya. Tama. So, ang tagal-tagal niyang nang naglilingkod, pero dahil walang trapping sa power, Apo. napaka-ordinary, <laughs> so, ordinary na tao si Kristo. So yun ang inimpress sa akin ni God. Kaya pagdating dun sa servant leadership at yung sinasabi servant na leadership. A servant leadership, yun ang unang-unang pinaalala sa akin. Yung what is so obvious na... Uh, kumbaga sa ano, ay eh, yun ang magiging identity mo. Tama. At doon mo kukunin yung significance mo na may mm. authority ka, you, you can use all the resources for Apa. your, ano, for your, what, Self-serving. Mga, perks, mga perks, ang entitlement, Apa, ang simbolo ng iyong authority. Apa. Sabi niya, hindi yon mm. Your identity, if your security is in me, Your identity is in me. Ako yung Christ na magiging modelo mo. At mm. ako yung Christ na makikita kung papaano ka nag-lead. So yun ang sum up sa leadership. Leadership. Leadership by example. Naging, example. naging very powerful kasi sinim- sinimulan ka ng God doon sa what is very obvious. Apo, tama na yun ang nakaka-attract sa mga paningin ng tao para masabi na leader yan. Mm. So, tinanggal lahat sa tinanggal akin pa. ni Gadjot. Simple yung pamumuhay at mag-focus ka doon sa paglilingkod mo sa Apa. mga taong nangangailangan mm. ng tulong mo. Yun. So, yan. So, yan. Thank you po, Tita. Yeah. Servant leadership, yung okay. pinaka-pinoint ni Tita. Para sa mga campus na manonood na kung paano ba maging servant leader as a government official and we are praying for you ng mga campuses na magiging future mayor magiging magsaserve sa yeah. government yeah. sabi lang ni tita be being a servant servant leadership because yeah. that is the example of yeah. Jesus yes.